So, a lot of you guys saw this video that I posted on TikTok when I showed you my Redbubble sales messages, and I wanted to thank all of you for your comments. I was really glad that all the work paid off finally, so thank you again for your support. Today, I wanted to reply to your messages with a video sharing everything with you from the beginning, all my work, the strategy that I followed this month of September 2021, step by step, because I saw that a lot of Redbubble users are sort of lost and still waiting for that first sale, so I just wanted to guide some of you and motivate some of you too. This video is divided to several parts, as you can see in the video's timeline, as well as in the description, so feel free to move to any part you like, but I assure you that I will reveal a lot of secrets during the whole video, so I suggest you to be patient, because you might learn some new tricks. So without further ado, these are the different chapters of this video, we are gonna start with, how to anticipate the trend before everybody, and the hacks to spot the trend early before the competition. Then, I'm gonna show you how to look for designs ideas, because the customers are looking for the actual idea of the t-shirt, so even if the design was great, but without a good idea, and with the right trend, you are not going to make sales. And then, of course we are gonna see together how to avoid copyright and trademarks, so we don't get suspensions. And then, we are gonna learn how to design cool t-shirts with Adobe Illustration. So, next step is gonna be, uploading our designs, and for that, we need some SEO, we are gonna learn how to write the title, and how to put the right tags, also, some good hacks to upload a lot of designs quickly. Let's start with learning, how to find good trends. So I paid for this print-on-demand online course, and honestly, I'm glad that it's working, I'm having some good sales with this strategy. What I'm gonna show you today, and for free, is what is really working these days, and really few people know it, and those few people are making a lot of money out of this strategy, because it will allow you to anticipate the trend before thousands of people around the world, and that way, your designs will always rank among the best selling, which make thousands of sales, so I want you to be focused guys. There is a lot of tools that you may know, some of them are free, and some are paid, but today, I'm gonna show you how to find trends, real trends, and for free. First, let's start with Google Trends. No matter how strong is the tool that you use, keep in mind that, Google has the big quantity of data in the world, and is capable of giving you, strong signals, or trends, better than any tool. So for those who doesn't know Google Trends, it's a Google tool, that allows us to know the trends on internet in real time, and for any country you want, so if you are following, let's say an UK trend, you can easily track it here. But that's not our subject today. Today we want to find t-shirt trends. How can we do that here? What expression are people searching for? If we can find this expression that people are typing in platforms looking for t-shirts to sell before everybody else does. Boom. We could say that we found our best selling. To do that, we need to think like the customer. To explain that let's go on Google search, so if you are a customer, and you are searching for a t-shirt to buy for Mother's Day, you would type, for example, I love my mom's shirt. Or any other expression followed by the word shirt or t-shirt. Let's go back to Google trend, and let's type this word. Let's type, shirt, and search. Google Trend will show us analytics, quantity of people that have searched for this word. And we have here, countries, we can search in any country from this list, but today, we are only interested in United States. And then, here you have the time range, you can choose past 12 months, or any time range you want from the list, but I will teach you what to choose and all the details step by step, just pay attention. Okay, now you need to choose past day. Here you also have the platform, 
or where you want the data. You have web search, news search, and even YouTube search. YouTubers are familiar with this trick to get more views on their videos, using trending topics. Now, scroll down. What I want you to focus on is this. Now we are talking. Related queries. This is where you can find trending expressions that are related to our word, t-shirt, or shirt, so, whoever searched for these expressions, these people are looking for t-shirts, and you can see here what trend is going in real time, past day, which means these past 24 hours, what people are looking for. So this past day, a lot of people are looking to buy shirts, with the expression, I hate John Bovey. Stephen Curry shirts are also trending today, and you have all these results, of what people are searching for. And I'm telling you really few people are working with this strategy. And they are making a lot of money. So if you go to the next page, you have also these results. Let's take for example, this one. I would die for JJ shirt. If we search this one on Google, pay attention to this one. This is a good hack to know if the trend is good. Do you see those results? You can notice that all the results are so recent. You have 19 hours, that means that artists are following this trend, and they started making designs. Another hack for you, go to the search bar and put the expression between quotes. Google will show you the number of all the results for this expression. And you can notice that there is only about 6,000 results in all the internet. Can you imagine it? In Shopify stores, Teespring, Redbubble, and Merch by Amazon. Only 6,000 results. This is really a small number. Still having doubts? Let's go to Redbubble to make sure. Now, you need to know that anyone that is making design about this one on Redbubble, he is surely making sales from it. What did I told you? Just 60 results. This is the best strategy ever, guys. And those designs aren't even that great, you can easily make some stunning designs to stand out and make sales here. Because this trend is new, and I can tell it will get higher with time. This is just for this past day, which means just yesterday. Okay, now let's take another example. This one. So, I picked this one to explain something to you. This strategy is working 100%, but you need to pay attention to copyright, because, when you work with trending, you will find a lot of trademarks and copyrights on products and expressions. Just like this Denver t-shirt, I'm sure there is copyright on it. So you will need to check those results, one by one. You will have to check the competition and the copyrights until you find something that suits you. And if you can't find any or, let's say you found a lot of competition, all you will need to do is go here and pick last four hours. Same thing. You will find some results, but fresh ones. Like this one, you check it on Google. or on Redbubble. I picked Redbubble, but you can work on any print-on-demand platform. It will also work. So for Deeds Pizza, there is only 15 results, even if it's not a big trend, but there is some artists that are taking their chance, especially if there is a news about it. And for that you will need to be updated on news like being on Twitter, or just see the news. Because, trends depends a lot of news. I hope you get the idea here. If you still have any questions just leave a comment, and I will make sure to answer you. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, because I'm willing to make a lot of videos like this, with a lot of tips and hacks, to grow your business online. Now. How do we find great ideas?
So, after we saw how to find a trend, we have an expression that we need to make a design out of it. Let's take for example, Turkey's shirts. Since Thanksgiving is coming. So we need to look in the search results for the designs that other artists have made. The idea is to stand out of all of those. But still, being in the same idea, so we look for a good design like this one, it has to be a text and graphic. I like this one here. How to check for trademarks. Without losing any time, I'm gonna select the title and search it on Google like this, so we are looking for any trademarks, so we can avoid them, I see here a Super Mario YouTube video from 2009, so there is a copyright on this. What we are gonna do, is we keep the idea of the design, and we play with the keywords. How to design t-shirts on Illustrator. Here on Illustrator, I pass the title. I get one from those fonts really quick, and I split my text. I make different fonts for each word of my text. Let's try to deform the text and reverse. Let's add a little arc here, and I'm gonna arrange the stroke quickly. Copy and past. Rotate it with the mirror. And here we are. And maybe we can draw something down below, to make it sketchy. Now, let's go to freepick.com, and let's search for a turkey. I like this website, you can find anything here. You can see a lot of designs here. I like this one. Download and open in Illustrator. So we don't need all the design, I just want the turkey. So this file is a vector file, that's why we can take just the turkey. And copy paste on our design. I don't want this sign either. But this is not a problem, we are just gonna delete it. Select and delete. And then grab the other hand, copy past. Move it a little, and mirror reverse. That's good to change the design. Let's rotate the hat a little bit. And that's how you avoid copyright. Let's scale this and move it with our design. I like it. Open a new file now, with new dimensions. 4500 and 5400 pixels. And copy past. Scale our design with shift. Now let's save our file. PNG is the best file you can save, to preserve the quality. I just forgot something, you really want to put the year 2021 on your design, way you make sure people, 
pick your t-shirt from other t-shirts, because people always look for new designs, that's how you get rid of the competition. Adding tags and checking for trademarks. Save the file and go back to our store on Redbubble, let's add a new work, upload a new work, and select our design, so here they suggest to go for over 1000 pixels and to choose JPEG, PNG, or a GIF file, so now So now while our design is uploading, let's work on our title and keywords. Let's go back to our friend here and see the tags that he is using, scroll down, those are the keywords that he is using. Another thing, you should be able to select and copy the tags, if not, just download this extension from Google Chrome, allow select and copy extension, this is a good one, it allow you to select any text from the browser. Install your extension, select the tags and copy. Now you open this website, delium.co, and pass the tags just here. So to know the tags that have trademarks, we just open this website, tmhunt.com, and that's how you find all the trademarks, so you can avoid them, search, and then set to live. Here are all the trademarks that exist for those tags for now, nothing is registered yet, so that shouldn't be a problem with Redbubble, but for those who work with Merch by Amazon, I don't suggest you use it, because Merch by Amazon don't tolerate those things, even without a registration number, because you don't know when these guys will have their registration done. Okay, let's go back to our website, copy the tags, and then pass them on Redbubble. Now, remember those tags we saw at the beginning of the video? We just write them down on Tmunt and search for trademarks. Good, no trademarks in here, so we can grab them and use them as tags. Now, for the title, we try to use those keywords as product name. And we add some words like, mom, wife, mother. And that's how we target the buyers that are looking for t-shirt for their mom or wife. We also add words like, Dane, for, and then, turkey cartoon illustration. Now we edit our design on the t-shirts, we obviously gonna pick black color, scale the design, and center. So with the white text, we can't make stickers, so we don't select it for now. We really need to select aprons, because it get a lot of sales in Thanksgiving, so we edit it now. We try the mask, why not, and let's pick a red color for this one. We select those. And we save our work. That was all for today. Did you like the video? If you have more ideas that I forgot to mention in the video please let me know in the comments.